Did I just shut it off? I know you can't cut. I know all that. I know. It's still crooked. Oh well. Sorry guys. Let's see. I can't seem to get it straight. Well, that's better. How are you? I think I'm live. Am I live? Let me go find us. Here we are. How is everyone? Tell me I'm not freezing. We have rain around us. So, there goes my nose itching as soon as I turn on the live all the time. Hey, Marianne. Hi, Marianne. Hey, Ellen. Hey, Amanda. I'm doing okay, Ellen. Just one day at a time, you know. There's my Amanda girl. So, um, hey Sally. Tonight I'm dedicating this whole live to my niece. Um, I wrote out a, a little tribute to her because I know that I would never, number one, remember what I had to say. And number two, if I have to read something, hopefully I'll get through it a little easier. Hey, Venus. Uh, and then I'm going to make a pretty cross to dedicate to her church in her honor. Hi, Joy. Because, you know, um, hey, Janice. Flowers just die. I'm not a fan of fresh flowers. I mean... Roses, of course, I'm a fan of no matter what. Hi, Hillary. But they just die. And I didn't want to... I wanted to get the church something that they can have all the time. Hi, Dion. Hi, Marsha. Hey, Bonnie. So, I was going to make a rose. But then, uh, her mom asked me if... Um, hey, Hillary. Thank you. Her mom asked if I would make a cross instead. So, of course, that's what I'm doing. But before I start, I wanted to show you my beautiful cup from Amy Slocum. Can you see it? Can you see my logo on there that she made for me? And it says Connie from Three Princess Designs. Isn't that gorgeous? So if you would like one of those, go over to Amy, Three Princess Designs. Hi, Sandy. And she will make you one. Um, hi, Pat. Okay, well, yeah, isn't that gorgeous? This cup is just gorgeous. And she made me my beautiful logo if you haven't seen it. So, oh, this camera is driving me crazy. So the first thing I'm going to do is read this tribute I wrote to my niece. Um, I read it about five times so that I could get through it. Hopefully I'll get through it. <laughs> um, you guys know how I am. So, um, hi Carol. So because so many of you have stuck by us, prayed with us, messaged well wishes, I wanted to share with all of you Heather's story. I'm the oldest of three siblings. Hi Nellie, hi Deborah. You need to send me that logo so we can get you a new label. All right, girl, I will do that. Hey, Tom, Tom. I'm the oldest of three siblings, me, my sister, and my brother. On New Year's Day 2016, we lost our brother to esophagus cancer. He was barely 51 years old. He was married twice and had two children. 
With each marriage, Heather was the oldest. When Heather was 14 years old, she was in the hospital for 100 days and 100 nights. She had several chest tubes and was on a ventilator for two months. Doctors told us several times she wasn't going to make it. I don't remember a lot of it because it was such a rough time. We block out stuff like that. She came through with a lupus, di a lupus diagnosis and some other things I just can't remember. Doctors in that hospital couldn't believe she made it. There's actually a book they wrote about her, A Real Miracle. She did well for several years after that, but the past few year, months, everything seemed to be happening. She was in and out of the hospital just about every month. Then last month, she had a heart attack and was put on a ventilator again. When she came off, I'm sorry, she had a heart attack and was put on a vent and shocked doctors again when she came off. Unfortunately, she, she was put on a vent again last Wednesday, which she agreed to. Doctors said there was nothing more they could do for her. So her family decided to take her off the vent. God said enough and took her home. Heather went through more than any child should ever go through. <clears throat> but she never complained. She had such a good outlook, a good heart, and such a wonderful faith in God. Her favorite saying was, when in doubt, pray it out. She was on a lot of my lives and really enjoyed reading all your messages of prayers. Although I love all my nieces and nephews, Heather was the one who stuck by her father, her father's side of the family. She was born on my wedding anniversary. June 9th, she would have been 31 years old. <clears throat> I will miss her so much, but I have to thank God he gave us 16 more years with her we didn't think we'd have. I just want to thank you all so much for the outpouring of love and support you have given me through this rough time. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. I know Heather's watching us tonight. Rest in peace, my beautiful niece. Sean, you'll always be in my heart. So, well, I did pretty well. <laughs> um, so we're going to go on now, and I'm going to make a cross to dedicate to Heather for her church. I'm Catholic. Heather um, veered towards another church, um, and with her other grandmother. But she, um, I don't, you know, God is in every church. He's everywhere. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, so, thanks Amanda. Hey Dion, thank you. Hey Marion, hi Kay, hi Alma. So, um, hey Gary, thank you. So, alright, we're going to put the camera down. And, hey Helen. Thanks, Marsha. Love you too, Tom. Hey, Tracy. So, one more thing. You know, after she passed away, I prayed to God to show me that she is with my brother. The next morning, you know how we all get pictures of um, memories. Thanks, Teresa. 
we all get pictures of memories and out of the blue my fa favorite picture came up in my memories of my brother hugging me and my sister it's just like God told me and my brother told me and my sister that she was there with him so thanks guys I appreciate all of you so I know she's with him she's not suffering anymore and that's all we could hope for so thanks guys thanks Jane all right, so let's get started on this. Um, Heather's favorite color was purple. Um, so I decided to make a cross for her church. And on the back, I wrote, In Loving Memory of Heather Hadada. So let's get going on this. Um, Yes, her favorite color was purple. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. All right. So I'm going to glue because I don't trust. Thanks, Lana. All right. So what have you guys been doing? Anything fun? Put all this over here. Oh gosh. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's um. It's hard to lose a loved one, and especially so young, you know, but thanks, Donna. Windows and spring cleaning there. Ah, hi, Debbie. Thanks, Barbara. All right, I'm going to drink. first COVID tomorrow? Good going, girl. You're getting ready for a craft show? I'm here in Puerto Rico spending time with... That's awesome, Jeannie! Yes, Debbie. Um, I did. We did. Thank you for the stars, MJ. Thank you so much for the stars. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Hillary. Yep. Um, her service is May 1st. Um, she did ask to be cremated. So, that's why it's not until May 1st, because they have to wait for that to get done. And, <laughs> aw, MJ. So yeah, it's been pretty emotional past few, few days. It's just, you know, um... We mourned Heather's death a lot. Thank you, Susan, in her lifetime. But she was she was pretty tough and she just surprised so many of us so many times. 
Yes, Debbie. Um, she had lupus, but it seemed to be under control, and then it just started going downhill from there. <sighs> it's 10.15 in Bermuda, and I've just put on my purple pajamas to watch in honor of Heather. Oh, thank you, Dion. That's so sweet. Yep, Heather, uh, her favorite color was purple, as you all know mine is also. <clears throat> Thanks, Debbie. Yes, you know, we just have to, she suffered a lot, and, but she never complained, you never knew all she was going through, and, um, hey, Ricky, it was, uh, you know, it's just, you know it's going to come eventually, but it still hurts when it comes, so. I just, uh, I was just amazed at how that picture came up of my brother, you know, um, I mean, these pictures come up out of the blue, and you just, sometimes it's just amazing. Thank you, Ricky. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, God works in wondrous ways, and when he put that picture up, it, it gave me a sense of comfort. Because I really felt like he was telling me. And my brother was telling me and my sister, no, Donna, you can't. Thank you, Carol. That she was with him and so gave me a sense of comfort knowing that. So we just, you know... What can we do? It's in the plan. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. I'm assuming it's you, Carol. was 22. Uh, yeah, you're right, Ricky. He, he works in wondrous ways, and I mean, out of the blue, to have that picture come up, you know, it was comforting. It was comforting. I know, Donna. You're very right. Thank you, Tammy. I grow with you and now you're coming around. Yeah. I know. It's, um, you know, there's sometimes there's just no words. And I just screwed that zip tie up. <laughs> Which is okay. I'm not using the crappy zip ties tonight. Oh, hey, Barb, thank you. So Barbara is my cousin, and I think about my sister every time her picture comes up. I know it's her way of saying, I'm here, little sister. Yeah, I really believe that. I, um, I believe that there are signs that we are sent, and, um, You know, that was, that was my sign. 
it was hi Debbie thank you so much and it was my favorite picture of my brother and my sister and I hey Brenda and he had a big smile on his face and thanks Liz and I just know that he was telling me and my sister that he's happy to have his daughter up there so you know thank you Beth So these are just, um, oh, my toe hurts. Did you guys see the picture of my toe? <laughs> Joy, my toe is pretty sore. <laughs> I was carrying um, six of the, you know, my husband said, I'll cut the boards for you if, if you want, if you mark them. So I was... I had a whole pile of the triangle boards. She was 30, Debbie. She will be, she would have been 31 on June 9th. Hey, Kathy. Yes, I believe in signs too. Yeah, I was carrying those boards. I had a whole pile of them in my hand and all of a sudden the whole pile slipped off out of my hand and right onto my foot <laughs> thanks brenda yes she was very young very young what's the point i give up a fight and say nothing oh i know mj Hi, Jerry. Thank you so much. So, yeah, I dropped a whole pile of large triangle boards on my foot. And it looks like my toe took the brunt of it. Because it's pretty deep purple. Uh, well, that didn't work too good, did it? supposed to do that, you know. Hi, Brenda. I'm not sure if I said hi to you or not. It hurts. <laughs> it still hurts pretty good. She did, Donna. She really did. Oh, Liz. That's another story. Hi, Joanne. I'm trying so hard to keep my weight off. I mean, how could one trip to... <clears throat> how could one trip to Longhorn put on four pounds. Could somebody tell me that? I'm getting very frustrated with this. Very frustrated. Hey, Mr. Oates, what's up? Just trying to get by. Just trying to get by. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's tough, you know. <laughs> Damon, that was one dinner, okay? Just one freaking dinner. Just one. And we didn't even have dessert. It's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, you know? This weight thing is just getting to me. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm starting to bet myself. I don't know what will happen. <laughs> well, good luck, Elizabeth. You have my utmost, uh, of course I ate the rolls. <laughs> But they don't have rolls at Longhorn. They have, it's healthy bread. <laughs> you know, it's the healthy bread. <laughs> uh, oh gosh. I hope it's water weight. I'm about to, I'm about to lose it. <laughs> Ask your doctors about this miracle drug. It's called... Sex Saxenda? I never heard of that. What is that? Are you trying to are you trying to pull my leg? Is there really a, a drug called that? <laughs> I have a feeling you're just playing. Oh gosh. So this is a uh, six inch mesh that I like to use on the crosses because it doesn't um, take up too much room. It's real. It's what me and Tammy started taking last week. For real? I'm going to check into it. What are you taking it for? You don't need it. Do you weigh yourself the same time you weigh? I found it way different times my weight fluctuate. Yeah, it sure does fluctuate. Really? Damon, you don't need to lose any more weight. I did read where Tammy said she lost 10 pounds. Um, 10 pounds in it was it I don't know if it's been a week or not but I saw where she posted she lost 10 pounds but I'm afraid to take drugs you lost 39 pounds congrats Hillary I don't like to take drugs I have two boxes of six inch mesh you can have. I was about to go donate it somewhere. Tammy is at 14 pounds? Wow. Hallie, thank you, but I I really appreciate it, but I have I have a lot of it too. And I don't really use it a lot except for this these crosses. But thank you so much for, for the offer. Yeah, I didn't think I didn't think Hillary had 39 pounds to lose. Alright, let's go on. Damon, are you still here? What kind of a drug is that anyway? Is it like vitamins? Is it healthy or what is it? Free of drugs, but sometimes they're healthy, then they're, you know, if they're like vitamins or something. You've lost 90 pounds from stress? Well, see, I go the opposite direction from stress. It's a larger dose of Victosa. Victosa. Hmm. Could be for me. Awesome, Brenda. Stress is not good, that's for sure. It sure isn't good. 
domestic violence. Oh, it's an injection? Franklin. How, how are you, my love? How are you feeling, Lori? That's <sighs> sad. No one should have to put up with that. Right. Judy, thank you. I appreciate it. Bring the sprinkle you alive. Aw, thanks, Lori. too, Hallie. Well, it probably, I probably gain weight from stress because I can't stop eating. <laughs> that could have something to do with it. Could have something to do with it. Don't you love how these tulips pop off of here? Hey, Crystal! just wish they they weren't so what do you call it fragile <laughs> tulips are very fragile even in real life and in ooh really sandy gain weight looking at food. Me too, girl. Me too. All I have to do is look at it. You walk when you're stressed? That's what I should do is walk when I'm stressed. Oh, <laughs> um, thank you, Lori. I appreciate you, girl. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you guys' support and prayers and all of that. So, okay, I'm drinking. Lori, did you see the picture of my foot? <laughs> I dropped a whole stack of triangle boards on my foot today. You clean when you're stressed? That's the last thing I want to do. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Elizabeth. Besides angel and a carrot or flower basket, what else can I do on your angel board? Oh, there's so many. Anything you can do on the large board, you can do on, on the small board. <laughs> well, my, my toe's a little purple, but that's, other than that, it's okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Those, those boards can be pretty heavy. <laughs> You sit and relax. Yeah. Yep. So 
so if you didn't, if you got here late, I shared the story of my niece in the beginning of the live. You can watch the replay. About a lot of her journey. So this is going to be going to her church. There you go. Thank you, Lori. Lori is telling you what to do on the triangle boards. The large and the small. Small Christmas tree. Yep. Hey, Diana. your tulip set. I got them at Michael's online. Someone did a beautiful I saw that peacock. It was beautiful. I saw that. It was absolutely beautiful. I'm just amazed at, at the designs that so many people make with these. Yes, thank you, thank you, Lori. So many different things. It was gorgeous. I was just I was just amazed by that peacock on the triangle board. Hey Nancy. I'm okay. There is a lot of beautiful talent out out there. I, I just some some I just I just can't believe some of the things. All right, where did this pop off of? So if you ever get one of these tulip wreaths and the tulip pops off, just just push push it back on. Um, I've been trying to glue them, but. Where the heck did it come off of? I can't find the dang thing. It's blown away daily. Yes, I agree, Lori. It's amazing. You know what? I am done trying to mess with these stupid tulips. So I'm just going to glue. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, we have a great teacher. That's why there's so much beautiful talent out there. When Lori makes something, I get blown away. I'm just... Thank you, Lori. Thanks so much. I just got you. You just got your boards today. You will love them. They're so much fun. I know. In the beginning, you had to search for hours to find what to do, how to do it, and now it's just gone boom, right? So this has another tube up somewhere. I'll find it eventually. You made a cheer horn? Oh my gosh, girl. I just can't get over the stuff you do. I can't get over it. I can't get over your talent. just amazing. I just can't get over it.
so I was starting to say if a tulip comes off Aw, oh, thanks, Lori. Um, I just get tired of it. I just glue them, you know? Just glue the dang things. <laughs> the hot glue will hold them, so... They will hold them. sign to go in the middle of this cross. I wanted something that really stood for Heather. So I made a sign and I'll show you that when we get there, which won't be too long. Why do you think? I must have missed something. Is there, um, Lori, there, there is, uh, it's the Lupus Foundation. There is a post on my page about the service and, um, the family has asked uh, to donate to the Lupus Foundation in her name. Lori. I just love you, girl. Thanks, Joanne. You know, Heather always got such a kick out of reading all the prayers and the people that came forward that she never knew she really enjoyed reading all those posts and it was all from you guys you guys did it all and I can't thank you enough for making her day don't have to glue, but you know me, I'm always gluing. Alright, I'm drinking. Save money. Told me he would. 
taking a vacation, y'all. I blew every dime. <laughs> Girl, you sound like me, Hillary. I'm trying so hard to save for the crafters convention. And it's not going very well. <laughs> not going well at all. shouldn't have looked and saw that I had extra, a few extra dollars on my account, because you know I had to spend it. You know, I had to spend it. So I'm really freaking out because our homeowner's insurance dropped us. Why? You know, why they're allowed to drop you when you never had a claim? It's, it's really sad. So, I'm so worried about the new rates. So worried. I mean, I could barely afford the ones we had. <sighs> so, I'm praying that... We don't get really zapped with the new rates. You know, there should be a law against that. Hey, Georgie. I didn't even see you come on. I do have a separate account for it, Gina. But, you know. Thank you, Hallie. I do have a separate account. Alright, we're almost to the end. Nope, no reason at all, Joy. None whatsoever. It's not the first time we've been dropped. You know, they should not be allowed to do that. They just shouldn't. I was wondering, how come I have so many tulips left? I have a whole nother row to do. Because I knew I had cut exactly what I needed. Is it, Gina? They didn't give me a reason, that's for sure. They gave me a, a notice, but no reason. We've never had a claim. this big four point inspection today. How did I fold the mesh? These are ruffles. I have a few that I have to, I have to fold. So I'll show you. They're ruffles. There is another one, purple, solid. Oh, gosh. Oh, they usually give the excuse that they're just not going to stay in Florida. You know, that's usually the excuse. 
they're not gonna they're leaving Florida or you know that's exactly right Judy you're exactly right so I'm really freaking out over the new rates haven't gotten it yet, but I'm afraid it's going to be high. Oh, gosh. That's why so many people go without, because you just can't afford these rates. flowers. Where did my go took four months to receive our money from the entry. Oh I know Tracy. I know. frightened to go with that. I don't think we can go without because we have a mortgage on our house. So, but, I mean, if you can't pay it, what are you supposed to do? You either pay the mortgage or you pay for the insurance. Which is it? You may just want to. They can't cancel you. Oh, girl, it's, they've canceled us more than once. Not this company, but other companies have. We had um, one company for years and years. And all of a sudden, they just sent us the cancellation notice. And they always manage to do it right before hurricane season. Always, always manage to do it right before hurricane season. One, two. Oh, I have an extra one somehow. Let me see. Let me see. Alright, time to fold some mesh. So, it's just cut, I just cut them 10 inches. Deborah. Well, no, I mean, we're about 15 miles from the ocean. Thank you, Dawn. Yeah, we're about 15 miles from the ocean. So I, these are cut 10 inches. I'm just ruffling up the middle and then turning them and putting them in the zip tie. with the tulips. I'll do that again. Um, I used about six bunches, Yvonne six bunches. Thanks, Joanne. So here's your 10-inch piece. Just scrunch up the middle. Turn it. And, oh, my ear is ringing. Stick it in the 
a zip tie and add your tulips. So we're trying to get to 9,000. Tom Tom said we we can play bingo. So as soon as we can get there, we'll play bingo. Is it 10 by 10? It looks so small. No, this is six inch mesh, Joy. It's six inch mesh and I cut it 10 inches. So just scrunch it up, turn it, put it in the zip tie with your tulips. one. Did I miss one somewhere? No, because I don't have any more mesh. I just had... Thanks, Joanne. You too, girl. I just had the uh, extra tulips, I guess. But you know what? I'm not going to let those tulips go to waste. We're going to throw them in here. I'm just going to throw them in. in a second. Drink in a second. Just gonna stick that in there. drink. 
like it. Okay. So, we all know what Heather's favorite saying is. Thanks, Bonnie. So I had to make her sign with her favorite saying. When in doubt, pray it out. This is for Heather. It's going to her church in her memory. Felt this coming loose. Thank you, Cynthia. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you, Carol. Uh, did that come out? Of course it did. Well, it'll be glued back on these dang tulips you can't touch them yes Donna I can but you're not gonna buy it what did I just do with that tulip that came out of there didn't one just come out of there? Oh, there it is. Thank you, Donna. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Judy. Heather's favorite saying if you go to her page you'll see it all over the place good night love you I'm just got glue because you know I don't trust just the ties.
happy. Thanks, Rosetta. this on the back. Thank you, Eva. anyone would like a wreath like this, I'd be happy to make you one. Hi Sandy! trying to stick this in the hole there. There it goes. Don't want to right here Gary I actually remembered it I remembered the hanger gonna cut that off thank you Debbie yes I think she would I think she would, and I hope the church is happy to hang it. Yes, Debbie, it did. They canceled us, um, and I'm really nervous about the new rates. That's what they do down here. They cancel you, and they use the excuse that they're leaving Florida. They're not writing any more policies in Florida. And they always do it right before hurricane season. That's how we get treated here. So, alright guys, so, no reason, nope. If I ask, I'm sure they'll just say they're, they're not going to write any more Florida policies. That's the excuse they give you. So when you... S it's an off-the-wall company, Debbie. I'm not really sure what the name of it was. Um, we take any anything we can get down here. And I can't remember the name of it. It's, it's not one of the major... The major companies already dropped us. We had Prudential for a long time. Yeah, they do. Um, it's an off, like, Twin Tower. I, I can't remember the name of it. I really can't. But, yeah, we renewed in June. And um, they're not 
not going to renew us for no reason. We never had a claim. But that's how they do things here. That's right, Debbie. But you know what? We take whatever we can get when we live down here. I thought about a bow, but... Yeah, there is a tower or something. Um, but I don't want to take away from, from the sign and her saying. So... Yeah. Alright, guys. That's all I have for you tonight. I'll put the camera up. I just want to thank you all so much for all your prayers. It could be Tower Hill. I, I really don't remember the name of it. It's really a, a off the wall. Thank you, Joy. Um, company. Thanks, Marion. You too, Cynthia. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you, for all your prayers, your messages, the love and support you've given me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, this is my happy place in here with all of you. This is where I'm feeling the best. And um, I can't thank you all enough. Thank you all so, so much. And St. John's. All right, we'll try that. Thanks, Tracy. Who did I miss? Thank you, Pat. Good night, Jerry. Thanks, Vicki. Thanks, Cynthia. Thanks, Marianne. Um, so remember, you can think of Heather. If you ever want to think of her, just remember her favorite saying, when in doubt, pray it out. Love you all. God bless you all. See you tomorrow.